Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to cut out hair in Adobe Photoshop. So as you can see here, I've got an image of a lovely red-headed lady and we're going to cut out her rather crazy hair onto a transparent background. So to start with, open up the layers palette. Now it's always quite a good idea when working on something complicated like this to work non-destructively. And by that I mean keep a copy of your background image so if you need to reference it or use something from it further down the line, you've then got it handy. So if we duplicate our background layer by pressing Command J on the Mac or Control J on the PC, and we'll just switch this background layer off, we have that there if we need it. So this is the one that we're going to be working on. So I'm just going to call this layer Cutout. And we're going to be using the Background Eraser tool for this tutorial. So if you mouse over the Eraser tool, left click and hold down and select the Background Eraser tool. Now you can adjust the size of your eraser brush here in the drop down menu. So you can adjust the size slider and you can adjust the hardness. So that is how hard or how feathered the edge of your brush is. And we have a few other options here. To cut out hair effectively, we're going to be sampling once. So our background is all a very similar color. So we're going to sample that background color and remove only that color and it will keep all of the hair, all the tones of the ginger and red and all that stuff. We're going to set the limits to discontiguous. Now the tolerance, this is going to take a little bit of trial and error. So if we just increase our brush size and I start working on this image with a 10% tolerance, you'll see that this is the effect we get. So we can zoom in and we notice that it's not actually cut out everything. It has kind of, it's, it's cut out some of it, but it's left a lot of the detail as well. So let's increase this to 60% and try that again. And you'll see that this time it takes away too much detail. So it's actually cut into some of the, the reds, the gingers, the oranges. And that's too much. So it's definitely going to be a case of depending on the image that you're using, just finding the right tolerance. And once you find the right tolerance, you're good to go. Now for this tutorial, we're also going to select protect foreground color. Our foreground color is going to be sampling some of the hair. So something, something like this. So kind of like a brownie orange color. And then once you've got all these options set, just left click on part of the background. Ah, you can see we've got a brush that is very hard. So the hardness is at 100%. Let's just bring that down to 50. So it's just going to be a slightly softer edge there. So when we're cutting around the hair, the very fine details, it's not going to be too jagged. It's going to be a bit softer, a bit feathered. And you can, I'm still holding down the left mouse button and just painting over all of this area and it's protecting that foreground color. So the color of the hair that we sampled and it's removing everything else, everything that is that background color. So no matter what I paint over here, it's only going to get rid of the background color that we originally left clicked on. And then we can also go up here and do this top right corner. Now, if we do the same here, you'll see that unfortunately it does actually start to cut into her face a little bit and a bit of the earring. So we're going to have to do this manually. So we can select the eraser tool and we'll just bring the brush size down and just start to paint into this. And you can adjust the size of the brush quickly and easily by pressing the left and right square brackets on your keyboard. So when you're cutting around the earring now, make sure that you bring the brush a lot smaller. If the brush is too feathered, you will get this kind of fade cutting into the earring. So it's always good to, when you're working on detail in particular, to bring your brush down a lot smaller and zoom in a lot closer. 
If you can get it looking excellent and well cut out at this really, really zoomed in level, then when you zoom back out, it will be flawless and no one will be able to tell the difference, which is generally the goal with retouching actually. So now we're just gonna go in and just work on erasing the inside. So we've still got these bits of background here. Unfortunately, the color of the background worked really well for most of the image, but these parts here just need a little bit more work just because the color of the earring, the reflections on the earring was a little too similar to our background color itself. So again, as you can see, I'm just making the brush really, really small for these finer details. And there we go, I think we're getting pretty close. You can obviously spend as much time on this as you like to make sure that it's as perfect as you'd like it to be. This is the slightly accelerated version. So there we go, pretty good job when you zoom out. And we've also got these other bits over here. So if I just create a new layer, we'll drag this under our cutout layer. Just select any color, like a vibrant orange, and just click fill with the fill tool, just to paint that in. And then select the cutout layer, select the eraser tool again, and you can very easily see now where it's kept some of the background. So with the normal eraser tool, we can just go through and just manually remove some of these bits. You can see as well, we've got this texture up here where the background eraser tool has not taken all of the background out, it's taken down some of it. So we just need to go through and erase that with our eraser tool. So it is solid orange. Again, there's a little bit here. I'm just gonna brush that one, brush that one out so it's orange. I'm still using a nice feathered brush. I've got the hardness set to zero now, just for the standard eraser tool. And we're just gonna keep erasing all of these bits. There we go. until our background is completely 100% solid orange. A bit more in the top right corner here. And then you can see we've got a little bit left over from here. These are just little bits that I've missed as I've been going along. And we're just gonna get all of these. And there you go, if I turn the orange layer off, you can see that we now have our model cut out onto a transparent background. And then if I then turn this orange layer to white, if you just press Command U on the Mac, or Control U on the PC, you get the hue and saturation dialog box pop up. Just drag the lightness all the way to the top and it will give you a white background. And you can keep these on separate layers or you can select both layers and click merge layers. And then if I turn on and off this layer, so this is the original image that we had with this slightly darker background. And then I can switch on the cutout version where we've placed our model onto a white background. And there we go. That's how we cut out hair in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.